Dear Diary, it's uh, Tuesday and it's uh, 1 and 22 uh, p.m. It's pretty much uh, 11 degrees outside and the house is quite cold. For some reason, ever since yesterday's night, the water has been cut off from us and um, I don't know how long that's gonna be up, but uh, the good news is that um, my dad has been out on a business trip for pretty much three days or something, and I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty good chance for me to, you know, relax more, play a bit more of Metal Gear, Snatcher, you know, play some Konami classics. Maybe discover some new ones that have the ability to put in some SEC music sound chips. Whether it's on a disc or on a, on a ROM game. And um, then, well, aside from all of that, there is almost like nothing else, I think. Now, I have been wondering a few moments whether am I finally alright or not. Well, I think I might be alright. A little bit, you know. Tomorrow's a college day though, but... I mean, at least I... Uh, at least my dad wouldn't be in there. And um, things are pretty decent for now. And um, I'm gonna. Be I still don't know if I'm 100% alright or not. And honestly, it doesn't have to be 100% because after all. It's okay not to be okay. <sighs> and, um, although I haven't really got myself a good sleep for some reason, because, um, I don't know what the hell is, is getting into me recently. Like recently I've been staying up pretty bad. I don't even know why. I don't even know what are the thoughts that gets me to think like that. But then, when most of those are thoughts that aren't flashbacks or reminders of that day, honestly, I think they would be much better. Way much better than having flashbacks, regrets, and whatsoever about that day, more than the ones that I already have, and um, along with, of course, me missing the most of the good people that I used to know and love, but then I ditched them. I guess I really have had someone that you know, loved me after all, along with friends that actually loved me and, you know, supported me, but unfortunately, I have ditched them, <laughs> like I have ditched them instead of them ditching me, and, uh, <sighs> I feel kind of, and I feel quite trash about it, honestly. And I'm pretty sure that they hate me by now, especially the ones that um, said they, uh, the ones that they said and clearly stated that they would really support me. But then, what can you do? I literally can do anything about it. Like I've completely lost all kinds of contacts with them. 
which was a pretty big mistake, and to be honest, like I can't even reach them, and almost anywhere thanks to uh, me being out of Twitter, and also me being completely out of communications and stuff. Yeah. And, um, I'm gonna be real. Like, honestly, I've had pretty, I've had pretty much way more good memories than some ones than I already had with those people. Uh, most of you already know them. And I don't want to honestly bother mentioning any names or anything. Not just for covering or respectful or anything, but I just, I just don't want to remember. Like, I just don't want to remember. I just don't want to even get anywhere near them. Even though me still having fighting games and memes that were out of those places were, um, are kind of still linking me a little bit towards them. However, since that, um, since that I'm literally, uh, you know, and honestly, I'm just thinking of completely ditching fighting games, you know, deleting the fighting games on my Steam. And, if, and any other platforms that had any fighting game stuff related. So that the only fighting game resource I would have is pretty much almost Mugen or, you know, the music, I guess. Because pretty much every kind of drama or trouble or anything have came have came from the fighting games and it's quite terrible I would say really <clears throat> and um, <sighs> nowadays fighting games well in Street Fighter 6's case it is upgrading so that will be pretty much the only games that I would ever get Instead of, and pretty much replace, and pretty much replace Street Fighter Five with it. As for Tekken, I don't think I'll ever replace Tekken Seven, nor even gonna bother getting Tekken Eight, because <laughs> you know the place was originally a Tekken, uh, a Tekken fandom server, kind of, and. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I wanna be nearby any more Tekken related stuff. Especially the modern ones, I think. <sighs> yeah. See what we see what I mean? The internet just fucks you over so hard that you don't wanna even get nearby. Any of the things that you have used to love so hard and get a passion on so hard and literally wasted like a lot of internet or effort or money or whatsoever on them just for you to completely ditch them and not wanting to get nearby them again. It's really sad. But since that uh, internet nowadays is a complete fucking waste piece of shit. Not to mention that, um, that the, plat the social media platforms themselves are literally devolving. Like, um, the CEO of YouTube is a guy that uh, does NFTs. The CEO of Twitter is literally Elon Musk. And uh, Discord is literally upgrading its UI towards the newer fucking generation. And, um, and then, um, literally, and it's pretty much continuing to be evolving.
not to mention the fucking moderation. And, um, I'm gonna be real. It's been quite fucked up for some time. Oh well. Aside of all that, I have a slight uh, sore throat for some reason. But that's probably because I've been sleeping on my throat or something. I don't know. And, um, hopefully by tonight or something, um, things could get quite better. Who knows? But, anyway, I really miss them. I really miss those old, I really miss those old friends. They were just way better than anyone else out there. Especially the ones that I have had ever since literally my first time being out of Twitter. And, um, let me tell you, it was quite the, it was quite the best time while it lasted. Oh well, what can you do? We live in a society. No, really, we live in a society. So, sometimes, why bother? Oh well. Right. Um, uh, see you all later.